Hello and hi everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sayyid Naseeb Zada and you are watching my YouTube channel Naseeb Zada Triple S. Dear students, today we have the topic in hand is modern periodic table of elements. You can see here this table. This is periodic table of the elements. This modern periodic table is based on modern periodic law or Mosley periodic law. Mosley periodic law states that properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers. It means that elements should be arranged on the basis of increasing their atomic numbers. So, in this table, elements are arranged on the basis of increasing their atomic numbers and you can see here, hydrogen has atomic number 1, then helium atomic number 2, then helium 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 and so on. Dear students, the modern periodic table contains total 7 periods and 18 groups. Elements are arranged in the form of horizontal rows and vertical columns in order to study them in an easy way and in order to get maximum information. What are periods in periodic table? The horizontal rows of elements from left to right in periodic table are called periods. And what are groups? The vertical columns of elements from top to bottom in the periodic table of elements are called there are total 7 periods in the periodic table and these are period number 1 it has just 2 elements hydrogen and helium and this period is called the shortest period of the periodic table period number 2 and period number 3 both contain 8 elements each and these are called the short periods of the periodic table. You can see here, period number 2 contains lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. These are 8 elements. Similarly, period number 3 starts from sodium and ends on argon which also contain air elements. Then period number 4 and period number 5 contain 18 elements each and these are called the long periods of the periodic table. Period number 4 starts from Km, Potassium and ends on Krypton atomic number 36. If you count, you can count from periodic table, these are total 18 elements. Period number 5 starts from a rubidium atomic number 37 and ends on xenon atomic number 54. These are also total 18 elements. The 6th period and the 7th period contain 32 elements each and these are called the longest periods of the periodic table. These periods also include these elements. These are included in period number 6 and these are period number 7. Period number 6, these are total 18 elements. Include these 14 elements also, the total becomes 13. Similarly, period number 7, these are total 18 elements and include these elements, these are 14. 18 plus 14, these are also total 32 elements. This series of 14 elements 
a group of 14 elements which follow lentinum is known as lentinite series a series of 14 elements which follow actinium atomic number 89 and then 90 is called actinite series these were all about the periods in periodic table next there are total 18 groups and these are group number one you can see here two three four one and then 18 the first two groups group number one and group number two these are called s block elements because during electronic configuration during subshell electronic configuration the last electron enters into a subshell period group number 13 to 18 total these are six groups one two three four five and six these are called p block elements because during subshell electronic configuration the last electron enters into p subshell Group number 3 to 12, total 10 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, these are called D block elements, because the last electron enters into the subshell. These are these two, lentinite series and actinite series, these are F block elements, because F subshell is in the process of completion. That's all for today and next time we will discuss more about periodic table. Thanks a lot.